Welcome back to Azure DevOps Sprint channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about the, this new feature named support for custom fields in rollup columns that wasn't produced in Sprint 158. Let's check out how to configure it. As you can see here, I'm already in the backlog level and now I want to change it to features level because I want to roll up informations from my PBIs to the feature, all right? So to add a new column, I need to come here to column options and then I'm gonna choose this option, add a roll up column. And now I'm gonna choose this one, configure custom roll up. As you can see, I have two options here. I can add a rollup as a progress bar, which means that it will calculate the percentage of conclusion that Workite represents on its father, and a rollup as a total. It will sum or count all the values or the number of work items, child work items, and summarize this information in the parent. After I decide which one I want to use, I will need to choose uh, what level I do, uh, do I want to sum up. In this case, I can choose between different types of work item, work item categories, as you can see, task board, stores, or I can choose based on a specific work item. It, usually we want to see here in the backlog level, so it can be summarized to all the parents in the apps and features. So I'm gonna choose this one. And now I need to select what, what is the metric that I want. If I want to count or sum, sum I will choose this one, sum. After I need to choose which column that I want to summarize in the father. As you can see, it already brings me the, the, the fields that the work item has, and I've already custom customized the two fields, one in decimal values and one in int values. So we, now we can use customize the fields too. I will choose this one, custom int value, and click OK. Now I'm gonna add, as you can see, the column is played, but I don't have any value here. What I'm going to do now is to add some values. So I will say that this represents a value of 10 and this one represents a value of 10 too, also. Now what I need to do is to close one of these. So I'm going to close this first one and save and I'm going to wait a little bit to Azure DevOps calculate what is the impact of this work item in the feature and it will present here as a progress bar as you can see here. I hope that you guys, that you guys like this video. Please, if you so, click in like and share with your friends. Thank you.